If you're playing Lost Ark, you do need to understand the gem system because from tier 2 onwards, this is a very important thing in order to boost both the damage and the cooldowns of your skills. So in this video, we're going to explain these systems to you guys so you're caught up to speed with what to look out for and how to use these gems. The first thing to know is that gems will start to be a thing once you reach tier 2, but it's important to know that the tier 2 gems, while they do work in tier 3, they do receive a debuff of 50% as they are no longer the equivalent tier to the rest of your gear. So while you'll become aware of gems at tier 2, don't invest too much time or gold into buying them here, because eventually you'll get into tier 3 and then you will want to focus on the tier 3 gems. Essentially, there are two different types of gems to be aware of, one that's in the shape of a circle and one that's in the shape of a triangle. The gems that are in the shape of a circle will have a cooldown reduction effect, while the triangle shaped ones will have a damage increase effect. Both the damage and cooldown reduction bonus that these gems give you are tied to a specific skill that you can re-roll at a vendor for a price of silver in-game. It's totally random what will re-roll onto it, and you can also re-roll the same skill back onto it, so it's quite difficult to get the exact one that you want and can add up to a large silver cost. And as you level up these gems, the silver cost gets even more expensive. You can level up the gems through fusion, which will increase the bonus damage or cooldown reduction that you get from them all the way up to level 10. The damage bonus of the gems will increase by 3% per level up until you reach level 8, at which case 8 to 9 will give it a 6% increase and 9 to 10 will give it a 10% increase for a maximum of a bonus 40% damage for a particular skill. While for the cooldown reduction gems it will go up by 2% per level all the way up to level 10 for a maximum of 20%. Considering that you have 11 gem slots and each attack gem can increase the damage of a skill by 40%, while each cooldown gem can reduce the cooldown by 20%, this is a massive bonus once you reach the maximum level of 10 for these gems and is an important part of the end game in order to improve your character's power. Let's talk about how you increase the level of your gems because there's a button on your inventory screen for fusing gems together. There are three slots that you can either right click the gem or drag them into in order to fuse them together to upgrade the level of the gems that you put in. You have to match the same level of the gems in these slots in order to go up a level and it will randomly pick what type of gem you'll get, the damage increase or the cooldown increase. So basically you need three level one gems to make one level two gem then you need 3 level 2 gems to make 1 level 3 gem. There's also the select target level buttons at the bottom of this menu that will instantly craft up to the level that you've selected all of the gems in your inventory. This is a really easy way of quickly using all of the gems in your inventory in order to get higher levels, but only do this if you're okay with using up the ones in your bag and you don't want to save them or sell them. There's also the auto fuse button within the gem fuse menu, which when enabled will automatically fuse up the gems you obtain to the target level and tier that you've selected. It's important to note that you cannot equip more than one of the same effect, either damage increase or cooldown reduction for the same skill. For example, you can see that I have both Punishing Strike with increased damage and reduced cooldown, but I couldn't put another damage or another cooldown in order to stack those two same effects because you can only have one of each for each skill. There are several places that you can get these gems. The most easiest will be your daily chaos dungeons when you're using your Aura of Residence energy. You can also buy them from the auction house or defeat the open world field bosses when they become available in the calendar. If you happen to have a boss rush ticket they can also drop in there. Some really good advice is to start leveling up these gems as soon as you get them but not focusing too much on tier 2 as they will become less relevant in tier 3 although even with the 50% debuff they can still be better than some of the low level tier 3 gems. Try to make a target of around level 5 or 6 on all of your gems and then re-roll them to the primary skills that you use for your build and then you should have a nice noticeable damage increase and cooldown reduction for your main skills that you plan to use in your rotation. If you found this video helpful in explaining the gems to you make sure to let us know in the comments down below and click like to help the video out. You can also subscribe to the channel or click the video on the screen now because we have lots of Lost Ark content as well as other games already on the channel that we think you might be interested in.